way things have changed. I just wish I'd relate to this. This is unbelievable. Those silly things. What is the world coming to? Oh, oh I'm sorry, madam. I didn't, I didn't see you sitting there. I thought I was fine. You're referring to the, uh, the music, I believe. My God, yes, it's preposterous, isn't it? <laughs> well, a little unconventional, I would say. Well, that's putting it mildly. Oh, oh. oh, oh. These coming out parties are not what they used to be. <laughs> Coming out? Uh, Coming out? Nobody seems to be in these days. <laughs> well, I was, I was referring to the, to the girls, the, the young ladies. I know, I know. That's exactly what I mean. There, there doesn't seem to be anything left for them to come out of. <laughs> they're, all, they're all legs and arms and skin. Uh, would you like to sit down? Yes, yes, I, I would, thank you. Well, the world is moving so fast these days, I suppose the dancers have to keep up with the world. That seems to me like the world is spinning out of control. Yes. Oh, so totally different from the way we are. But I, I suppose we have to be tolerant. I mean, we are the old people now. <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't say that. I mean, not... Not old, um, uh, middle-aged, perhaps. But, uh, that's it. That's it. Middle-aged. Oh, that damn music! It's nothing but noise. <laughs> Good well, I suppose you're right, though. Things do change. It seems to me like they're going backwards rather than forward. But I guess we have to accept the facts. Unfortunately. You know, when I accepted the invitation to this dance tonight, I, I had kind of hoped that I would find something, however remote, but something to remind me of my youth here. They've, they've even remodeled the house. Oh! Oh, you've been here before then. I, I say, I, I think they've remodeled the house. <laughs> And then, and then this no. awful Victorian. No, you see, I, I know this house very well, and I'm sure that nothing has changed. Absolutely nothing. Really? Seems to me like it's changed. I don't know, maybe it's me that's changed. Maybe. You know, um, as a person grows old, they, they tend to... Old? I mean... Middle-aged. Middle-aged. Yeah, I'll have you know, madam, that I feel like I'm in the prime of my life. I, I don't feel a day over 21. I just... <laughs> <laughs> you know, as a matter of fact, down in the office, they still refer to me by my first name, uh, Anthony. Tony. Anthony. That's right. Oh, and, and down at the Blue World, uh, at the Blue Whale, they still call me Tony. <laughs> they call me Tony, just like they used to. Tony? So Blue see, Whale? Yes. So you see, man, I'm not so old. Of course, I, I have accomplished quite a lot uh, since I've been in private practice. Let's see, it'll be um, 42 years ago tomorrow since I left. 42 years ago. That's right, 42 years. And as I was saying, I, you know, I had hoped when I came here tonight that I would, I would find something to remind me of when I was young, you know, some old familiar faces that, well, one in particular. Oh, then, then you still have uh, 
feelings for someone? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess I do. Um, yeah, you know, uh, it's, um, I suppose every no man feels that way. It's foolish. Until we get some sense. <laughs> yeah, I was very much in love at the time. Couldn't live without her, all that sort of thing, you know. Oh, she was a snappy little thing, clever, pretty, very pretty. <laughs> Big blue eyes, golden hair, that sort of girl. And did you, you, you went up and quite forgot about her? Oh, yeah, I forgot totally about her. <laughs> yeah, life in the big city is strenuous, you know, and uh, then there's hunting and golf, all that sort of thing. Get you busy. And so you marry someone else? No, no, no. Uh, never married, never had the time to marry. <laughs> <laughs> And the, um, the uh, young lady. Oh, she's, she's, probably, she's probably the mother of a large family by now. Yeah, times do change. I was very much in love at the time. But uh, the family, uh, her family, they didn't really approve of me, so uh, I just I just broke the whole thing off, you know. And I've been quite content. Yep. Yes, but you haven't you haven't even tried to see her since you come back to Collinsport. Oh no, no that, that might have been rather embarrassing for both of us. You see, we were practically engaged at the time. Well. I hadn't come right out and asked her, but uh, you know how some things are sort of understood, so to speak? You went away and left her. Well, no, I, I, didn't, I didn't actually leave her. I, uh, let me see. As I, as I recall, I, I believe I did ask her to marry her. And she refused. Um, let me see, did she be cute? Uh, <laughs> um, oh, now I remember. She said, uh, we must think it over very carefully. Yeah, those were her exact words. Very carefully. Yeah, she just wrinkled up her little snub nose and, and said, <laughs> She had, a, she had a little snub nose. It was a very cute little nose. And uh, did you think it over carefully? Very carefully? No. I was a wild dog in those days, like, like most young guys, you know. And I, and I had my pride, too, you know. I, I had expected that her to just fall into my arms and live there happily ever after. Well, not, not right in my arms. You know. As your wife, yes, I, I understand. As my wife? Oh, yeah. Yes. You were a romantic youth. Yes, I guess I was. Foolishly so. And exceptionally so. I, I think I was reading a lot of Hemingway at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and you completely lost track of her after that. No trace of her. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> well, you see, I was kind of a conceited young ass then, and, you know, like most of them. And, and I, I wouldn't have written for the world. So uh, I, I didn't say. But several years later, I read in the paper that Carolyn had... Um... Carolyn? Yes, Carolyn. Pretty name, isn't it? Always, always, uh, always been fond of that name. Well, anyway, as I was saying, I, I saw in the paper that Carolyn had uh, married some guy named Hawks or something. <laughs> but since then, nothing. And so your romance ended. No, oh, no, no, it never. Um, yeah, I, 
I guess it did. And you never married? No, no, no. Never had the time, always busy. Oh, I, I guess I did think of it every now and then. Uh, not very often, you know. Now and then. Life in the big city can, can be lonely uh, at times. And um, uh, especially in the winter when you can't even play golf. <laughs> but uh, you know, I don't mind saying that. I, I think a man, a man should get married. I mean, I know uh, I needed someone to take care of me. Someone to. There goes that well, damn music again. Have you all thrown that? <laughs> have you all that knee? Oh, absolutely, sure. That damn music, though. <laughs> Yes, it's the walls. Mm -hmm. See, oh, maybe not. Oh, those were such happy times, such happy times. Music bring, brings back so many memories and the young people. Oh, they were so happy. You know, 42 years ago, I could dance and laugh just like that. You? Really? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, right here in this house. Forty-two years ago. Forty-two years ago. Long as that. Is it so long ago? Forty-two years? <laughs> Forty-two. Forty-two years ago. You know, we might have known each other back then. <laughs> You know, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. It was well, maybe, silly. maybe we knew each other back then, but maybe we didn't. Oh, well, right, of course. <laughs> right. right. Well, so have you have you lived in Collinsport ever since then? Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, after you left, I, I, I mean, I, I, well, uh, that is, I, I've lived, lived, lived out of town quite a bit. Uh, so many, oh, so many memories. I have trouble bringing them all back. Well, I'm sure you've had a delightful life. Yes. Yes. But lonely times. Yes, I know how that can be. Yes. yes. Well, I, you know, I suppose you have uh, children, that sort of thing. No. No, well, actually, we, we never had children. My, my husband died very young. Oh, that's awful. Was it a car accident? No. No, actually, he, he had a fall from Widow's Hill. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, 
I'm, I'm, my eyes, you know, my, I, I don't see nearly as well as I do. And uh, I'm not uh, quite as well. <laughs> Carolyn, I, and right in this very house after all yes, these years. Yes, 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 tell me. You said you weren't married. I never remarried. Well, I thought you and that big guy, Adam. No! <laughs> You mean, I mean, when you said we must think it over very carefully, you, you really meant? Yes, I really meant. You mean that just like a woman? <laughs> well, those were happy days. <laughs> Is that a waltz they're playing? Yes, I believe it is. Carolyn, would you care to finish this dance with me? Oh. Oh. Tell me. I would be delighted. Thank you so much, Jerry and Nancy. Yeah. And that was put together. Jerry worked very hard on that piece that he wrote and collaborated with Nancy.